Hey y'all, welcome back to Willow Tree Woodworking. So in my last video, I showed you how to prepare your canvas, how to process your image using ImageR, which is a free option, and also using GIMP with their plugin. I'll link it in the description how to get to each of those websites where you can download the GIMP plugin that I used in my last video. So if you wanna see that engraved, stick around, cause that's what we're doing. All right, y'all, we're over here in Lightburn and we are getting ready to set up to do our engrave. So as you can see, in Lightburn, I've already pulled my image in. I've already got it set up to the size that I want. And I'm just gonna change it just a little bit here to 12.1. The reason that I do 12.1 is that my canvas itself is only 12 by 12. So I want my image to be just a little bit bigger. So that way, when I go do my engrave, I can ensure that it's going off the edges just a little bit, just enough that I'm going to get that full image on. So I'm just going to hit my frame button over here. And you can watch it frame my canvas. And you can see I'm just outside that, that canvas border. So I know everything's good, so I'm ready to go in and start my engraving. So I'm going to go back in here to light button, and I'm going to hit start. All right, y'all, now that we got our canvas engraved, let's go get it all cleaned up. All right, so the best option that I found so far to uh, clean all the soot off, instead of just wiping off your canvas with a damp rag, I like to run it underneath the tap with just a little bit of warm water. And if you have a spray attachment on your hose or on your sink, that works great too. We're just gonna spray out that soot before we touch anything. That way we're not smearing it all over our canvas. And you can see our image is already starting to come up nice. So now I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel, get it nice and wet, and I'm just going to lightly go in here and rub off anything extra. And don't worry about getting your canvas wet. These will dry once, you, uh, once you're finished. Dry it off and just let it set. Let the excess water drip off. And now I'm just going to take in a dry paper towel and I'm just going to go wipe it all off. All right, and that's what we have so far. So we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna finish it off. All right, so the last step here is we're just gonna finish it off with our clear satin spray. Same process as when we did our canvas and got it all set up for engraving. Just go through and put a light coat. Both directions. And I like to stay a little bit away from my canvas so I don't get too much built up on there. And that's all there is to it. And there you have it. Our newly engraved canvas on the X-Tool D1 10 watt laser. Now you'll notice the difference here. The lower canvas was done at a higher speed and a higher power. 
and the canvas above was done at a lower speed and a lower power. So depending on what type of effect you want to get, either do the higher power and the higher speed to get a darker canvas, or do the lower speed and the lower power to get a lighter canvas. And I'll post all of that information in my description so that you know exactly what my settings were.